Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky and in today's video we are going to learn how to create a lambda function to stop EC2 machine based on the tag. Here are the topic which we are going to cover in this video. So we are going to start by creating the EC2 machine. Then to those machine we are going to assign the tags. After that what we are going to do is we are going to create a role for the lambda function and in this role we are only going to give access for the EC2. After that we are going to create a lambda function and once we have the setup ready then we are going to write our lambda function code and in the code I will go step by step I will explain each and everything why I am writing this thing so that you can also understand what exactly the purpose of that code and once we have the code and everything ready in the last we are going to do the testing. So the same code you can use for the chart machine as well it is not only first job you only need to do a couple of changes and the same code will work for you in this chart environment as well if you need to start a ec2 machine so let me log into my aws account so aws management console Okay, I logged into the AWS account and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of instances. So for that I am in the instances and here I'm going to click on the launch instance. Here I will give the name like demo server 01 or something and from here I'm going to change the number of instances. So I'm going to give it 3 and from here I'm going to select the AMI. I will go with the default option the only thing I'm going to give a key pair so that we can log into our machine as well although in this demo we don't need to log into our machine but it's okay to have the key pair in case we need to do some troubleshooting let me click on launch instance now I have the three instances up and running so it is in the process of creating the instances and within couple of minutes these instances are going to be up and running and let me change the name of all these instances okay let me refresh it so I can see all the three instances are up and running right now now the second thing which I need to do is I need to assign a tag because this tag I'm going to give in my lambda function and based on the tag it is going to start and stop the EC2 machine so let me go to the first one and here we have the tag option let me click on the tag and let me create a tag here so the tag which I'm going to create is environment and let me give the environment name like test let me go to the second one let me do the same thing for this as well okay so now we have the tag created okay and I'm going to do one more thing for the third machine I'm going to add a tag but this time the tag is going to be production or prod. So now I have three machine if I go to the first machine I have the tag with the name test. If I go to the second machine I have the tag with the name test and in the third machine I have the tag with the name prod okay now the first step is completed now the next one is to create a IM role so for that what I'm going to do is I will go to the IM now here in the role section what I need to do is I need to create a role and I need to attach a policy now I have two way first I can create a role here and then while creating the lambda function I can attach this role to the lambda function or the second way is I can create my lambda function then I have the default role created and in the default role I can go and attach the policy so that is totally up to me how I want to go now here I'm in the lambda so I'm going to create a function from the scratch and here I'm going to give a function name like um, job ec2 
based on tag value something like this you can give name as per your choice now in the runtime what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the python okay so here we have a lot of runtime so you can select the runtime as per your choice so i can go with the previous version of the python as well or i can go with the latest version of the python as well now here we have the execution role so see this is what i was talking about so here we have the option to create a new role use the existing role if we already have the role created we can select from here or we can create a new role let me create a new role so that i can show you how you can edit the role create function Now I have the lambda function created. I'm not going to delete anything from here. What I'm going to do is I will go to the configuration page. Here I'm going to do the edit. And the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the time of this. Now why we need to increase the time of this? Because this is a timeout. Whenever we are going to execute our function, it is going to take some time. Now, if the specified time is less than the execution time, what will happen? My job is going to fail. So that is the reason I have increased the time to five. Now I know my job is only going to take 30 seconds, but still I have increased the time in case my job is going to take some little bit more time. It is not going to fail because of th this parameter. Let me save this thing. Now the second thing which I need to do is I need to give the permission. So here is the role which is already created now let me click on the role and if i go inside the role and if i go inside the permission here we have the basic execution permission for the lambda now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a permission here attach policy and what access i need to give ac2 full access so now to this role i have assigned the ac2 full access as well okay now let me close this thing so in the configuration we have the timeout which is five minute now and in the permission i can see i have provided the permission for the ec2 full access now i am going to write my code now to write a code so we have the import uh, json here so the first thing which i need to do is i need to import border 3 here okay because this script will come from the border 3 that is the reason i have the border 3 here now i'm going to write my code from this line from this one okay so from here i'm going to start writing my code here i'm going to write the border 3 code if you have knowledge on the border 3 that is good if you don't have the knowledge on the border 3 you need to go to the border 3 documentation and you need to read little bit about it Although I'm going to create a video on that as well. So you can watch that video as well for the border 3, how to work with the border 3. But in this video, I'm just going to write the code. I will explain the code. And let me go here and let me go to the border 3 documentation as well. Python AWS. So that I, you will get some idea from where the things are coming. Okay, from here we need to search for the available services and in the available services we need to go to the EC2. We can do the control F and search it or we can just scroll down EC2. Now here we have all the things related to the EC2. Okay. So if I'm going to scroll down, see we have a very long list which we can use. So here we have the resources section as well. Okay. Let me go back here to my lambda function and let me start writing the code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable name here. So the variable name is going to be EC2 connection. Okay. Here I need to give the border 3. Now I'm using the border 3. So, so I need to give the border 3 resource here. Okay. Now from where this thing is coming, it is coming from this documentation. Let me go to the simple one. So here if you see, correct, this is just an example I'm showing. This is just an example for the SQS. And here 
इट्स अ वेरिएबल नेम इक्वल टू देन द बोडो थ्री रिसोर्स एंड द रिसोर्स नेम करेक्ट द सेम थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रो इट सो हियर ई सी टू कनेक्शन इक्वल टू साइन देन वी हैव द बोडो थ्री देन द रिसोर्स एंड आफ्टर दैट आई नीड टू प्रोवाइड द नेम ऑफ द सर्विस सो लाइक दिस हेयर इट हैज प्रोवाइडेड द सर्विस नेम सो आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड द सर्विस नेम बट द वे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड इज समथिंग लाइक द सर्विस नेम is equal to and then in the double code i'm going to provide ec2 one more thing which we need to provide here that is very important that is the region name because right now we are not telling like which region it need to check we although we are in the mumbai location but it is going to check in which region it need to execute so we need to provide this thing as well so here i'm providing the region name and my region is ap south one so from here i can get the region name if you are in us east one or if you are in any other region you need to provide the same region here okay so the first line is created now the second one which i need to do is i need to write a code in this i am establishing a connection for the boto 3 and the resource name is ec2 and here the region is ap south one now what i'm going to do is for each um in ec2 connection whatever we have here okay for each in ec2 connection then what exactly we need we need all the machines information or we need to you know get the filtered information so here if i need all the information i can simply say all it will give me all the ec2 machines information but we don't need all the information right now we have a filter here the filter is the tag value so we need to keep the tag value here correct so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the tag filter here so how to do that let's see but before that see we have ec2 connection from here and from here what exactly we need we need the instances and then we need to give all it will provide me with all the information okay or i can go with the filter information now what exactly the filter so i need to create the filter as well now how to create a filter this is a standard way to create a filter so don't get confused if you want to create a filter you can create a filter like this okay now we have created a filter but from where this filter value is going to come we need to tell this thing right now we are telling that okay for each everything inside this inside the instances we need to filter out and filter out what we need to give the tag value here as well right so for that what we are going to do is we are going to create a filter for the tag as well and that filter we are going to provide it here okay now let's create a filter here and the filter name i'm going to give something like filter mm, i can give uh, ac2 something like this and equal to filter is always a dictionary so we need to give as a dictionary and here we need to mention the name okay now after that what we need to do is we need to give the tag value here so filter name is equal to tag and what exactly the tag name is so that is something we need to pick it up from here from our machine so the tag name is environment let me copy this one paste it here so the tag is environment right now and i need to provide the value as well the value now again we need to provide the value as well now the value is going to be again i will go to the tag and value is going to be test let me control v let me close this one yes we are ready let me check it one more time filter ec2 name is going to be tag environment and the value is going to be test yes now 
let's test this thing so here i'm going to use the function for the print so that it will give me whether my function is working correctly or not for each dot id let me save this thing deploy now i'm going to test this one so let me go to the test i can give any name here like hello or something let me save it let me test it and let's see now we are getting a uh, syntax error so let's resolve this thing so line number eight there is a error message where is line number eight so here we have the line number eight let's see what we have missed here okay it is going to be values and we missed to close this one as well okay this is the mistake okay yes everything is correct ah okay now this okay <clears throat> let me deploy it and let's test it out now here we are getting a status code 200 why we are getting this thing because here we have this return value and in the below we are getting the instance details as well but okay right now we are getting all the instances so we have three instances let me go here we have three instances and we are getting detail for all the three so the filter value is still not working let's see why it is not working ah okay so here is the problem here we have not provided the filter uh, name so we need to provide this filter name here now here we are getting only two instances information because we have created a filter with the tag name test and if i'm going to change this filter to let's suppose demo3 here we have the tag for the prod let me copy this one let me go here let me deploy it let me do the testing and yes we are getting a single instance information so the code the tagging the filter everything is working as expected and let me change it to test okay because we need to run our code in the test environment in the test tags okay now what the requirement is now we are able to get the information related to the ec2 machines which are with the tags value test environment test now i need to stop those instances so right now if we see we have the instances in the running state what i need to do is i need to stop those instances so how to do that let me remove the print from here or i can give this thing what i need to do here each each instances earlier we were going with the each id and this time what i need to do is each stop and let me deploy this thing and let me go to the instances one more time so i can see all the instances are in running state so all the three instances are in running state but this is going to work only on the machine one and two let me go and let me do the test so we got the response 200 that means everything is fine let me refresh this one yes it is in the process of stopping so we have successfully created our lambda function which is going to stop our ec2 machine based on the tag value if we need to start we just need to replace this one as a start and it is going to start the machine for me and let me show it to you that thing as well so let's wait for it to stop now i got the message hello from the lambda and if i go to my instances here i can see these are in pending state so it is in the process of starting so this is how we can create a lambda function in order to start and stop our ec2 machines we can also schedule this one but for that i'm going to create a different video thank you